The Blue Wind Junior is one of the first Windows smartphones that literally falls under that sub $100 price range at launch. So compared to say the Lumia 520 that came out last year that's currently around $50, uh, that launched at 100 and something, this phone is 89 bucks. Uh, that's the very first thing about this. It's also one of the first Windows phones to run the Snapdragon 200 processor. So with that price range and with all those specs, uh, what do you actually get with this device? <music> So looking at what Blue has brought to the table, the first thing you notice is that the Wind Blue Junior is a four inch device. It's a very small device. You can see in my hands it feels very tiny, it looks small because of course I have big hands, but um, they've created something small and portable here. So a couple of features you will find, speakers at the back, Again, this is running a Snapdragon 200 processor. It's a quad-core processor. It doesn't have LTE. The 200 doesn't have an LTE chip built in into it. Um, it's got a five megapixel shooter, which we'll talk about in a second. And it shoots some decent photos, nothing spectacular. LED flash. Um, now this comes with about eight gigabytes of internal storage. You can expand it via micro SD to 32. And of course, it's quite easy to open up that back cover. And it's actually quite easy to open up this back cover in general, and I'll tell you why about that in a second. So the other aspect of this device I like, it's, it's a dual SIM device. You've got one, two SIM card slot. It takes full size SIMs, not nano SIMs, not micro SIMs. So I actually have a, a micro SIM in there and it doesn't work. It needs a full size SIM card. So you either get a SIM adapter to use this uh, device here, and it also has a micro SD card slot uh, overall. Now, that's pretty much what you find in the back housing of the, of the Blue Wind Junior. As we close this up properly, oops, this reveals the four inch display. And you can see Cortana popped up because this is running full Windows 8.1. So you have Windows 8.1, you have Cortana, you can actually use Cortana here. And um, uh, you can also ask Cortana questions like, what is Minecraft? Minecraft is a sandbox indie game originally created by Swedish programmer Marcus Notchperson and later developed and published by Mohang. Okay, so uh, you have those abilities and in terms of extra software, uh, there actually isn't any. The, this is not loaded with any pre-installed software whatsoever. So this is a very clean system and it runs fairly well. I really like the fact that it functions and runs well. The display is a, four, it's a 800 by 480 display, so you're not getting the sharpest display overall, but you're getting something decent. You do have a front-facing camera that's VGA. There is no physical camera button, but you can of course set up your camera to be housed here within the notification area as you choose. So uh, in terms of functionality and form, this thing does very well. Again, Windows Phone is very capable of performing in with, of course, a lower powered processor and also lower powered system. Now, like I mentioned, this is a dual SIM device. So if I actually bring this closer, they actually weighs, uh, my SIM card doesn't work, so you're gonna get that. But they actually ways of actually functioning between the two SIM cards, it's very simple. If you go to your dialer, you have the option between choosing SIM one or SIM two, you can switch between SIM cards and make calls. So if you're traveling internationally and you want a phone to take with you, this is actually a great little phone cost very inexpensive at $89. So it's something that uh, won't bite your pocket. You can have it as a uh, international traveling phone. You can have it as a backup device for you. Runs decently well. Now this, now this device is not meant for gaming, of course. So games do not function uh, effectively well on it. And it's not meant for that. This is meant for the entry level smartphone users. This is meant for the backup smartphone um, person who wants something they can take with them on the road, travel with or something to use. And I really like what the Blue has done here. No bells and whistles, a simple, straightforward, cost-effective Windows phone. And that's what the Blue Win HD Junior is. Uh, the packaging is very simple. Uh, you can see it here again in blue, uh, that is the Blue Wind Junior, uh, very nice. It also comes with a carrying case, uh, with a case. Now, there's some fault to this case, which I actually will show you here. That's my, that's my one gripe with this device, is that um, I'm glad to give you a case to actually protect your device, which is nice, it's a clear see-through case. But once you try and start removing the case, it also starts removing the, the back cover altogether. So 
pretty much it does that. So you don't really want that. But the, it's nice you have a case with this device altogether. So I really like the Blue Wing Junior. I will definitely recommend this as a starter smartphone. No bells and whistles, very simple, very, very effective, and a device that I think a lot of people will definitely want if you just try to pick up a simple smartphone to use, dual SIM, uses full-size SIMs. Um, it's great for the international market and um, has, um, you know, okay specs on there, but function well. Battery life also, you will get all day battery life with this device, so that's a big plus. So if you have any questions or any comments about the Win, uh, the Blue Win Junior uh, from Blue Products, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video, share this video, favorite this video, and also do subscribe to the channel, top right hand corner of your screen or down in the description below. Stundi Isain, thank you, and always enjoy your entertainment.